It's July and it's getting hot, just like the deals at Appalachian Wireless. All month, get the Samsung Galaxy S8 for just a penny with a two-year agreement. But don't wait because the deal ends soon. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Saturday morning, nearly 200 runners from several states traveled to Pikeville to compete in the White Lightning Half Marathon, arguably one of the most difficult courses in the country. It's just crazy in a good way. Yeah, it's just uh, really extremely tough. Oh, this is crazy. If you come back, you're crazy. If you are a three-peat, a four if you do this every year, you're crazy, because this is hard. 13.1 miles that takes you from the top of the mountain to the bottom, with more than three miles running in the creek before a one-mile stretch straight up the side of the mountain. Yeah, nine, at mile nine, you hit Heart Attack Hill, so you're one mile straight up. But it's all for a good cause. And you know that all of your money is going to Hibbley Christmas in July and all of our money is going to the Shriners Hospital in Lexington. And even though many competitors ran much of the race alone, it was very much a team effort. We're, we're all the running community. We all support each other. It's just like one more step. You just one step in front of the other. We all support each other. You're out here just trying to push yourself and do better than you did the last time. But for one runner, completing the White Lightning was a personal journey, starting the half marathon at 5 a.m., three hours before everyone else. Phyllis Coleman, I'll tell you, what a great thing. You know, she started early uh, because she knew she was going to be a little bit longer. Uh, but in my runs, it's not about your time. It's about start and finish. We run for those who can't. So when times are rough and you think you can't, you know, I say it all the time, you just got to suck it up because there's somebody out there who may not have legs or their legs may not work as well as yours and they would die to be out here and cramping and hurting and complaining of knee pain. So when you're, when you're feeling pain, that means you're alive and that means you've got legs and the good Lord gave them to us and we're going to use them. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.